Renegade the Dirt Television here with some more great video updates here from Carolina Speedway and the joyous seating, King of the Carolinas, part of the $75,000 weekend. Wesley Outland back here with you and joining me is the driver to Bland, Virginia. He's from the Commonwealth State. This man's done it all. He's done super late model races, big block dirt late model races, great late models, and he's in an openable modified running for the King of the Carolinas this weekend. Bland, Virginia's Kenny Compton. And Kenny, welcome to the action track, buddy. Thank you, man. Thank you. We, uh, down here all week. We had a little trouble trying to get here. We were trying to bring the uh, late model field to run this whole deal, but uh, Dad didn't get sick. Uh, we had to leave him behind. He may ride down and get a little better. Absolutely, and of course, uh, Kenny Compton will drive the Bloomfield chassis, runs all over the country, he's won some big races, and of course you want to tame that six-foot trophy and be the inaugural king of the Carolinas for the Renegade Dirt Modified Tour. Man, what's it going to take to get her done? Well, you know, uh, get out there and see, and uh, see how it all comes together, see what the track does, you know, run a little bit harder tired, and we've got this uh, track tired, and we've got to run, so we've got to get the car now. American Racer, the official tire of the Renegades of Dirt Modified Tour. American Racer has a lot of history uh, with, with modified racing. And, of course, how do you get around a tight track like Carolina Speedway? And not only that, it's going to be cold. And I mean cold this weekend. But the good thing is that the coldest weather is tonight. Because by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday, which is the, the final day of the King of the Carolinas, we'll be running the 60 degree temperatures and maybe the beginning of the wee hours of nightfall.